Hey guys, welcome to Effortless Code Learning. I hope you are doing well. In this video, you will learn how to schedule and cancel the tasks using cron job. You will also learn about cron expression in detail. And at the end of the video, you will be able to figure out when to use cron job and when to go for the alternative of the cron job. So let's begin and make sure to watch the video till the end. So first of all, let's understand what is meant by schedule task. Schedule task is a task which will be executed in the future. For example, phone memory cleanup or take backup of phone data to cloud. These are scheduled tasks and can be executed based on the certain intervals, maybe daily, weekly or monthly. To schedule tasks using cron job, I will be using cron package. It is really easy and no configuration is required to use this package. Now let's make changes into main.dart file. So first of all, I will define object of cron class. Now let's create method which will schedule tasks. I will be calling schedule method of cron class. Here we need to specify cron expression. And here we need to specify the callback method which will be executed once this event is triggered. So here I will just print message. I will print time. So here we have specified cron expression. So this task will be executed after every one minute. This each character in this cron expression is called sub expression. You can specify five or six sub expression inside this cron expression. Here you can see I have specified six sub expression. So if you specify six sub expression, this cron expression starts from second. And if you specify five sub expression, then this cron expression starts from minute. And each sub expression have meaning. The first sub expression is for second. Second sub expression for minute. Third is for hour. Fourth is for day of month. Fifth is for month. And last is for day of week. For the second and minute, possible values between 0 to 59. Here if you see this slash is specified, the meaning of this slash is called step. So this value will be incremented by the value specified after the slash. Here minute will be incremented after every one minute. Likewise, you can specify any value here. For example, three. So this minute value will be incremented after every three minute. For hour, possible values are between zero to 23. For day of month, possible values are between one to 31 based on the last working day of month. For month, possible values are between one to 12. Also, you can specify name of month like Jan or Feb. Here meaning of this comma means this task will be executed in Jan and Feb month. Likewise, you can specify multiple values. If you want to execute this task in April month also, you can specify April here. So by using comma, we can specify the possible values. For day of month, you can specify values between 1 to 7 or you can specify name of the day like Monday to Friday. This hyphen is used for range. Here we have specified this task should be executed every day between Monday to Friday and it won't execute it on Saturday and Sunday. Now for testing purpose, I want to execute this task for every one minute. So let's change the cron expression and test. Now I am calling this method from schedule button. Now let's check. Here you can see the time is printed. Now this task should be executed after another minute. Here I am fast forwarding the video. Here you can see the task is executed after minute. So far we have scheduled task. Now let's add code to cancel the scheduled task. So task will be cancelled on click of this cancel button. So for that I will be writing method. To cancel task, I will need object of schedule task, which is written from this schedule method. 
सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिफाइन वेरिएबल ऑफ टाइप शेड्यूल टास्क एंड लेट्स असाइन वैल्यू रिटर्न फ्रॉम दिस शेड्यूल मेथड टू दिस वेरिएबल नो आई विल बी यूजिंग दिस शेड्यूल टास्क वेरिएबल टू कैंसल टास्क here on the schedule task instance i will be calling cancel method which will cancel the schedule task now let's call this method from cancel button now let's cancel the task now this task should not be executed here i am fast forwarding the video and we'll see if this task should get cancelled so here you can see the task is cancelled and nothing is printed from the long time that's how we can schedule and cancel the task using cron job but the important point to note here the schedule task using cron job works only when app is running if app is closed or terminated this schedule task won't be executed and if you have such requirement to execute task even though app is closed then you can go with work manager it execute the background task even though app is closed if you don't know how to schedule task using work manager i have already created video on it you can go through that video you can find its link in the description as well as on i button i hope this video was really helpful do consider subscribing my channel and hit the bell button to get further notification on new videos thanks for watching the video